Welcome, and here we are with the good news. And the best thing you can do these days to improve your chances of having a successful and happy life is probably to be more like a hacker. Now, uh, before we begin to talk about hackers, I do want to talk about 21st century skills. And they're a good way to remember these skills is uh, there's five C's, critical thinking and problem solving, creative thinking, communication, collaboration, and global citizenship. Now, we'll talk about each one of these in turn. Now, critical thinking, of course, the most important thing is don't believe. Don't accept people by what they say without, you have to think by yourself. Okay, begin, uh, be what is called a skeptic. Skeptic, look it up. Okay, so you have to know what is true, what is not. It's hard. You have to know what is a fact and what is an opinion. That's a big, important difference. Okay. Now, in the United States, this big company uh, that uh, asks many people questions uh, called Pew asked, uh, uh, made a quiz with five facts and five opinions, and people had to choose which is which. So you had 10 things. And uh, only 26% of the U.S. adults could guess all five facts. They could not see the difference between a fact and an opinion. Now, for example, President Barack Obama was born in the United States. Now, is that a fact or is that an opinion? And, of course, it is a fact. And 90% of Democrats chose fact, but only 63% of Republicans chose that as a fact. They think it's an opinion. Okay? I don't know how they got that idea. Critical thinking, though, uh, has if people use the Internet and they follow the news and politics and they find good news sources, then they have better scores and are able to see the difference between fact and opinion. You should do the same thing. Okay, uh, functional literacy uh, is remembering things from high school and using them in daily life. And a good note is that Japan is number one in the world for this. People that study things in high school remember them for longer, and more of them remember than any other country in the world. And these five C's, again, let's talk about second one, creative thinking. Creating thinking is not just being artistic, but to think about new ways to do old things. And you have to use new tools like smartphones instead of computers. And you don't just follow the rules, you kind of think of your own ideas by yourself. Okay, again, the five C's, communication. Okay, excellent communication skills. It's not just language. It's checking understanding and not assuming things about other people. And uh, the USA is a culture that is called low context. That means you can't make very many assumptions. Many people are very, very different, so you have to actually ask questions much more when you're communicating than in Japan. In Japanese, you can assume many things and think that, oh, yeah, she will understand what I'm saying because she's Japanese. And the last one is Oh, no, second to last is collaboration. Labor means to work, and co means together, so working together. Now, the school system in Japan does wonderful work to make a collaboration. Uh, small group work, for example. Uh, Gakuryo is another way that at Showa we teach uh, how to work together at uh, Gakuryo. Unfortunately, we won't have Gakuryo until uh, soon after. Uh, and the final one is global citizenship. And to be a citizen, 
Uh, you will learn this in Boston when you go, or if you go. And uh, when you travel to other countries, and uh, you should be able to see how many different countries and different people view uh, have different viewpoints. Empathy is a word that means to feel something that other people feel the same way. And you should be able to feel what other people are feeling. So I'd like to go on with another set of things that are important for uh, for uh, digital uh, literacy. Attention. That is probably the most basic important thing you can do to improve your uh, success is to focus your attention and avoid distractions. Okay? Don't go checking Instagram all the time. You should be able to focus for a long time on one thing. Okay? And if you have uh, lots of motivation, then you can uh, have longer attention. And if you have motivation, if you have autonomy. Autonomy means that you can work, uh, you can work on what you want to work on. You have freedom to do what, uh, to study the things that you want to do and work on the things that you want to do. If you have autonomy, then your motivation increases. And when your motivation increases, you can pay more attention. So here's an example here at Google, the company. You think of Google is a uh, an important uh, technology company. And they say that the best teams at Google have soft skills. Okay, now hard skills are like mathematics and science, but soft skills are like equality and being generous, if you're curious, and if you um, want to talk about teammates, and again, empathy, you can feel what other people are feeling and emotional intelligence. And the most important they thing they find working together is that there is emotional safety. Okay, there's no bullying. Okay, that's really, really important, even at Google. So we can see here that uh, the five C's of 21st century skills that communication and collaboration, you as Japanese students can see that you already have really, really good skills in that area. Most people in Japan have really, really good communication and great collaboration. They're able to work together easily. Not like other countries. Now, the problem is that the, the ones uh, highlighted in yellow, critical thinking, creative thinking, and global citizenship, is uh, maybe those three are something that you can work on uh, and you can improve in school. And you can tr improve by being a hacker. Now, a hacker in this 1992 movie uh, was a bad guy. And I'm going to play just a little bit here. They're hackers, okay? And uh, there's another video here. I won't play that. Uh, you can look at the slides and, and call that up and watch that if you like. But as we can see in the dictionary, a hacker, okay, is a person who uses computers to gain unauthorized access to data, okay? 
unauthorized. That means not permission. So they steal data. Okay. The thing is that that is a negative, a very negative idea about hackers. And the original idea, this is a 1984 book by Stephen Levy. It's been translated into Japanese. It's about hackers. And some hackers are really, really good guys. Yeah? Do you know these two guys? They're named Steve, the two Steves. On the left is Steve Wozniak. And on the right, Steve Jobs. And their first device that they ever made together was a device to steal telephone calls from the telephone company and not have to pay for them. So they hacked the telephone company. Then they went on to make computers. How about this other guy here on the left here? You know him? His name is Bill Gates. Also famous for uh, driving very quickly, but he was a hacker as well. There's a very good definition, a short video here uh, about what is a hacker. You can listen to that on the slides. I won't go into it right now. But there is a set of six rules that is have become what's called the hacker ethic. And the ethic means kind of rules to live by. And the first hacker ethic is that everyone should have access to technology. Everyone, old people, women, uh, poor people, people living in Southeast Asia, everyone should have access to technology. Nothing is prohibited, prohibited and you learn by doing things with hands-on. Okay, so uh, to get Wi-Fi everywhere would be a nice goal for hacking. Uh, and all information should be free. Now, there's two meanings for free. First meaning is no cost, yeah, like free beer. And then here there's no restrictions. You can say whatever you want to do. It's free speech. Okay. Hacker ethic number three here, don't trust authority. Yeah, like people like the police and the government and big companies uh, usually become very, very bad for society if they get too big. And you should decentralize. That means to spread out. Where there's no center of society, it's everything spread out. That is kind of like the network, if you remember before. Yes, the network is a kind of communication where there's no center. Hacker ethic number four, you should judge people. That means th what is their opinion by their work, not by their sex or race or money. Okay. If people do good work, then they should have good reputation. You can create on a computer art and beauty. For example, here, do you know, have you ever been to the uh, Labo? Over there, Team Labo in uh, uh, Odaiba. Definitely, creativity. And finally, the last one, Hacker Ethic 6. Computers can make your life better. And how can they make your life better? Well, one of the things, one of the most important things, is that you should share. And sharing has become part of the computer world, and it's called open source. So that when you make a software program or any kind of thing, you can share it for free, and you let other people make it better. This was how the computer world, world developed in the early days. This is in California. This is a lecture where everybody got together uh, on Friday nights and uh, all of these computer technology, they worked for different companies, they worked for themselves, but they would all share their information with each other and they would freely give out programs to other people until Bill Gates decided not to do that. 
But until then, it was everyone was sharing equally. I had a similar group like this here in Tokyo. Uh, this for me was the best learning experience I have ever experienced. Better than university, better than graduate school. I was able to talk to these people and learn about how to use computers better and more easily because everyone was an expert and we all helped each other out. Linux is a software that runs the internet. Most of the computers that have uh, the internet run this uh, operating system. Uh, it runs uh, things like Wikipedia uh, and it's uh, all free. You can uh, use it for free. Google, all of their software is free as well. And oftentimes it becomes because other people take that software and they improve upon it and they make a new version and share that also with other people that the best quality and the quickest advancement is done by open source. So that programming is a real skill to help you to make open source things. Now, programming, you don't need to learn to be a programmer, but you need to think like a programmer. And you need to understand how programming works, OK? And one of the biggest ideas is that if you don't control technology, others will make technology that controls you. And we can see that by software like Facebook. So uh, there's a guy named Douglas Rushkoff that has 10 commandments about computing. He says, don't always be on. Yeah, with your time, you should take some time to yourself okay don't let the computer control your time every time you get a message or an email you don't have to answer right there you should have time for yourself distance you should live in person if you're having dinner and you're looking at your phone that's not good and you can choice sometimes you get an keto and they say oh do you want yes or no yeah, you can always choose none of the above or just not to answer. Okay, complexity. Okay, that the internet is complex and everyone is never right all the time. Scale here is another one that says uh, sometimes smaller and bigger are not the same. Same kind of uh, software or idea is not the same. So Facebook is very different when it was small, and now it's very large, and it's very different. Uh, identity, you should be yourself. That's pretty much clear, and you have to find out who are you. On your social media, you should not sell your friends. Don't give away information about your friends on social media. And uh, keep, uh, you should always tell the truth. And you should be open. Again, open, you should share. And uh, you should have purpose. You should have an idea that you want to program your life. You want to plan and program your life so that other people don't program it for you. So a good idea is to learn to think like a programmer. Again, I'll leave the video for later. So what you want to do, three things. Make. You want to make things, and you want to do things, and you want to program. And you should participate and collaborate and create. Those are the three best things you can do to become a success and to be happy and uh, to uh, enjoy technology. So, thank you very much. You should go out, you should make something, and you should share it with us. Thank you very much. That's all for today.